Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you some really useful words that you can use in your daily Italian conversation and that will really level up your Italian skills. What am I talking about? I'm talking about using correctly expressions of place. So what are they and why do we need to know them and use them? These expressions can be adverbs and they are very useful because they will help you to be more specific when you're talking about a certain place in which an action is taking place. They will indicate the position of a thing or a person in a place in relation to another person or another object. Now, what are they? Well, here you have some of them. Yes, you can download this chart by clicking in the link that you find below this video. It's a free download, don't worry. And with that PDF, you're also getting some extra exercises to practice immediately using these, okay? Or you can check my blog at italianlanguagehub.com. So now let's look at some of these and let's learn how to use them. Say them with me. Dentro. Fuori, sopra, sotto, dietro, davanti, vicino, lontano, intorno, su, giù. Now, be very careful because sometimes these um, expressions of place are used with the preposition da or a. So in that case, you have to be very careful to match gender and number uh, of the noun that follows the preposition. So basically you have to merge the preposition with the article, just like we did with the articulated prepositions. If you need to download that chart as a cheat sheet, go ahead and do that. Um, I will put the link in the box below. I will give you some examples of this. Look at davanti a. This translates to in front of. Also in English, you will have a preposition of. Look at the sentence. Siamo davanti al bar. Let's break it down and understand why we have to create al. You have davanti a. So davanti with preposition a and then you have to think of the noun that follows. The noun that follows in this case is bar. Bar is masculine singular. So if you were to use an article in front of this you would say il bar. Okay now you would have davanti a il bar. Eh, that just does not sound well. I don't like that. I need to merge the preposition and the article. So a plus il will become al. So your new sentence is siamo davanti al bar. Same thing with di fronte a, in front of. La farmacia è di fronte alla banca. So you have di fronte a plus la banca merge them together, you have alla banca. Same thing for lontano da, far from. La scuola è lontana dalla chiesa. Or another example can be with in mezzo a, in the middle of. Ti aspetto in mezzo alla piazza. Okay, so remember to merge the two, the preposition and the article. Now I want to give you a little extra information with some very fun little expressions of place that I'm sure you will enjoy using. What am I talking about? I'm talking about qui, qua, li, la. Qui, qua, translate to here, li, la translate to there. Qui indicates a very specific place close to the person that is speaking. Qua 
indicates a generic, so not specific place, close to the person that is speaking. For example, vieni qui. Vieni qui means come here. If I say I want you to come right next to me. But if I say vieni qua, mm, you don't know if you have to say next to me. It's a, an area next to me, but not specifically here. Okay, so it's more a generic come over here. Qui and qua can actually be followed by expressions of place. For example, qui sotto means under here. Qui sopra means over here. Qua giù, it's another way to say under here, like very deep down under here. Qua sopra, over here. Qua sotto, under here. Always remember that qui is more specific, qua is more generic. Same exact thing happens with li and la. Be very careful when you're writing these out, use the little accent on the vowel. So li will have an accent on the i and la will have an accent on the a. Li will indicate a specific place far away from the person speaking or listening. And la will indicate a generic place far away from the person speaking or listening. So if I say, dove sono le chiavi? Sono lì. Somebody's asking, where are the keys? And I'm saying they're over there, specifically in that spot. But if to the question, dove sono le chiavi? I answer, sono là. I'm not being very specific. I'm just saying they're somewhere over there, far from me or from the person that is asking the question. With la, you can also add two expressions of place. La su means over there, high up, and la giù means down there. Once again, if you're using la, you're talking in generic terms. So even with la su and la giù, you're specifying that it's somewhere up there or somewhere down there. You do not know the specific location. Okay. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Remember to download the PDF to have all the extra information and practice exercises. I will see you next week. Un bacio. Ciao.